firstly, we're going to cook our swordfish, Michael, in the oil. So, okay. I'm not going to add any salt. Oh. All I've got is oil in this non-stick pan. Oh. And as you can see, it's quite thin. Mm. So it should probably take a couple of minutes either side. I'm just going to grind some pepper over it. Yep, because you don't, don't need salt because we're adding the, uh, the caper berries after. That's right. And, and, and Michael, I know we can't show any, but I saw some as I was walking through this beautiful town, capers growing out of walls. I mean, they're everywhere. Are they bushes, are they? They're bushes. They're, they're easy to grow. You can grow them in any, any Mediterranean climate. So there we are. I'm Fair I'm, shoot of sparta. Now, you showed me something that was really interesting about the basil. I did, actually. Okay. Uh, what the tell <laughs> It's in the pot there. I'm sorry. The sun. <laughs> It's the trees, it's the piazza. No, I think he's overwhelmed by the pesce di spada you know or the swordfish. You know Go when on, you, get buy, on with it, will you? you buy basil in uh, your fruit shop or whatever, uh, it's, it's, it's not covered like that. And what they've done here is pull it out of the ground and still a little bit, you can see that dripping a little bit uh, brown there with the soil. They've wrapped a little bit of soil in some plastic and then they kept that in water so it keeps nice and fresh. It's not hydroponically grown but they've wrapped it to ensure its uh, freshness. You can see there a little bit of discoloration yeah. in the water but you don't worry about that, you just wash it, chop it up and away you go. Sicily is famous for its tomatoes so we're using these cherry tomatoes and as we said it's only capers, cherry tomatoes and we've got a little bit of dill in that marinara sauce and a bit of white wine to go, and that's basically simple, just a... Now, speaking of being well, a deal, yes, I... I'm sorry. I, I started cutting these up. Yes. And what they do here in Sicily, they don't cut them up, they just get these spe special tomatoes and they squash them in the pan. That's right. So I cut them up, and it, you know you don't have to cut them up, but I did. Yeah, deal. I'm just, okay, I'm going to turn them over one more time, and by then, just to get that little bit of colour, oh, you see the colour? Teshita tomato. Beautiful. And that's all oh we need to do. Look, we don't have that much in Australia, do we? We do get it. We do? Right. Yep. All right, I reckon we'll let that yeah. go for what, about what do you need now? another minute. Right. They look pretty good. That's the two minutes I was waiting Beautiful. for, Michael. We've got that colour in them. Oh, I lost, I lost the heart uh, of one of them. There, there we are. are. I'm going to cover it up anyway. Look at that. You, look at that. There um, we are. Michael, that looks beautiful. There we are. There's the other one. Oh. Mickey? There she is. Oh, there we are. There you are. Well done. That's it. Yeah. Mark, it's a lovely textured fish, isn't, isn't it? It's good, and, and the skin's on as well. Yeah. Because it's a very can you delicate eat the skin fish. As well? You oh. can. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, Michael, what we're going to do now? Can you give me the capers? Mm -hmm. Just about a, a tablespoon. That's you say it. when? Because they're very it. salty. They were the salted That's about ones. All I need. You actually washed the salt off those, didn't you? Yeah. And can I have half the tomatoes? Half the tomatoes. Yep. Uh, a few more there. Yeah, That's well. about it. And I'm going to squash those. And can I have uh, some white wine? Mm -hmm. We're going Just to deglaze this and get all those flavours of the fish. There we are. Look at that. Okay, look at that. Oh, that's it. Uh, Michael, okay. That looks beautiful. Okay, and can I yep. get you yes, to do me some pepper? Yep. Some of the white wine? Yeah. Actually, they're not going to squash too much, but I don't mind oh, because we've got that marinara oh, sauce. Love you love it. Michael, okay. this is cooking in its simplest form, well, isn't it? Have a look in the piazza. And these beautiful trees. These are ficus hillars. And, and what is ficus hillar? Is well, that a tree with a leaf? It's called hill's fig. Okay, now. And you know, we think we've got them exclusively in Australia, but look. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, Michael, I can smell the cape. Now, can yep. I have. Half, Still gold? Yeah, just a little bit of that. Just that it all combines. Because oh, this has got dill just, in it. Yeah, just a little bit more. It's got sardine in it. Sardines. Yep. Sardines. What just else? to give it a little bit of that. With the sardines and the capers, yep. we've got enough salt. I'm just going to heat that through. Oh, Michael, look and at that. And then, there we are, Michael. Can yep. I just get you to do a little bit of stirring? Yep. While I'm just, just going to prepare my yep. swordfish. Oh, just put them down a bit like that. Not only is Michael a good chopper, <laughs> but he's a good squasher as well, too. How about some basil? A little bit of basil. Give it a good stir while, the, while you got that oh, heat. Oh, look at so that. So you've got the basil, you got the capers. Yep. yep. Now, Michael, would you like to um, spoon some on the swordfish? Now, have, oh, have a look at that. Look at that. Right, right down. Actually, you've got some graphic, it's not a, graphic design, you've got some food styling designs it's, too. Michael, it's a pity our viewers can't smell this because here we are in a beautiful 
central square, and that's what it is, cooking. And what's this fish called? Kershida Sparta. And where does Sicilian it come from? Sicilian style. In the home of swordfish. Hey, Michael, no better way to test this out than to give a true Sicilian <laughs> recipe to a true Sicilian. And there's four from looking at us right Jam now. Buonasera. Buonasera. Buonasera, signore. Buonasera. Pesce di spada. Yeah. With the sugo. The sugo. The sugo. Mmm. Well, there you are. Bono? Bono. Bono. That means, bono means good. <laughs> they thumbs up.